So uh, we just got a ton of brand new information about Season 1 and exactly how it's going to be working. We're talking about the Invasion Battle Pass, something called Inversion Reinforcements. We're also going to be diving into, of course, Haley and her abilities specifically. And check it out. We got another new look at Haley, our Sniper Descendant. She is looking pretty damn cool. As you can see, she is holding on to her Railgun Sniper Rifle ready to shoot. And more details about Ultimate Descendant Freyna and new Invasion Dungeons because they have some very unique mechanics that have not been revealed before and a reward system that kind of has players concern as well. We'll talk about that and yes, the Ultimate Weapons and a bunch of other stuff. So I say we dive straight into this one. This comes from Windows Central as they did get some brand new information straight from Nexon. So it goes on to say the Season 1 Invasion Battle Pass. So it says, of course... The first Ascendant will be offering a brand new battle pass alongside a fresh wave of challenges and rewards. Now, Naxxon has promised it did take criticism from the preseason battle pass and worked on both improving the rewards of season one and making the challenges more fair and worthwhile. Now, what is inversion reinforcement seasonal progression? Now, it says perhaps in a similar vein as Diablo 4, Naxxon is introducing new ways for players to progress and evolve their descendants with each season. So it says, after encountering the Iron Heart for the first time, players' descendants can undergo a powerful arc resonance to enhance their abilities. Furthermore, players can then use inversion reinforcement to gain incremental upgrades for hunting, attribute recovery, and survival, making their descendants more powerful over the course of a season. Now, it's not clear if this inversion reinforcement will reset with each season, or if Naxxon will let players carry upgrades forward, perhaps to encourage players to switch descendants in order to upgrade each one. So that's going to be interesting right there. Now it says, of course, yeah, we're getting that new descendant, Haley. So season one, we'll be introducing her. Now, of course, Haley is going to be using a sniper rifle, a rail gun of sorts, and has a chill attribute descendant equipped with an anti-material sniper rifle, sub-zero bullets, and a storm snare and is focused on delivering single immensely powerful shots. Now, she also has a unique ability to lower her body temperature and actively emit cold air. That's going to be actually really, really cool to try out right there. Now, what about Freyna? So, another existing descendant is also getting the ultimate treatment, and this time it's fan favorite Freyna. Now, on top of obtaining an ultimate variant, players will also be able to play Freyna's new exclusive story uh, quest line, of course, about her past trauma, part of season one's narrative content. Now, new invasion dungeons. This is where things get a little bit tricky. It says a new way to play invasion dungeons will randomly replace two hard mode infiltration operations on a rotating schedule and present brand new and unique obstacles for players to overcome. So there are solo missions and those are going to be catered towards speed running enthusiasts. Now, the faster you clear an invasion dungeon, the greater the rewards you'll obtain. Now, an invasion dungeon plays differently than existing game content with new mechanics and objectives. Now, some players are a little bit concerned about this being time-based. And we already got a post out here that says this, LOL, they are bringing dungeon reward based on how fast you complete them. And I did say to you guys, I think there's probably a reason why they're not going to be nerfing Bunny. And I think this is one of the reasons. I think Bunny is going to be very, very popular during season one. And they did state that they really do want to change up the mechanics per season. So I really do think you're going to see seasons that bounce around the different descendants and really encourage you to try, hey, this ascendant over here on one season and then try out this ascendant, this go around for the next season. But yeah, with these time trial runs, I am extremely curious to see which descendant comes out on the top as by far the fastest descendant. I mean, we're seeing an entirely new descendant being introduced this go around and then also ultimate fray. Now there's a lot going on here. So I also do think that we might see some balance adjustments considering that the trailer here also did go on to showcase a little bit more of Kyle and of course SMO as you can see right here. So maybe they will see some buffs and could actually have a chance with competing. And as far as the new game mechanics and objectives they mention here, you could see that we're going to be getting some new bosses and then some sort of infection that will be spreading throughout. And then there's some sort of puzzle gameplay. They are introducing this. This is going to be hit or miss in my opinion. I'm so, so curious to see how the community receives, you know, those objectives, puzzle-based stuff in these brand new invasion dungeons. And then we got to talk about the details surrounding this brand new void intercept boss battle. So it goes on to read the following right here. Another void intercept boss battle. Another Colossi has appeared in the void, replacing Gluttony as the most challenging boss in the entire game. Now, Death Stalker 
specializes in hunting down descendants and is a toxic attribute monster that strikes from the shadows. There will be new mechanics here that players will have to unravel in order to have a shot at winning. Now, interestingly, they didn't give us any details about our brand new descendant, Haley, having specific mechanics that will, of course, complement facing off against this brand new Colossus, but I'm going to bet that yes, we will be seeing that for sure since we did see that in the previous season and it's going to encourage people to really uh, farm and grind for Haley, of course. Now, what about the two uh, new ultimate weapons? We were supposed to get one weapon, I thought, but this goes on to read this right here. It says two more ultimate weapons. The first Senate Armory is increasing with the arrival of two new ultimate weapons, including Excava and Frost Watcher. Now, Excava in Season 1's Battle Pass Reward Ultimate Weapon and is a modified assault rifle that occurs charges as you fire it, eventually culminating in a powerful energy grenade. And then Frost Watcher is a new chill focused scout rifle that can be obtained by playing Season 1 content and both reduces chill resistances of enemies and enhances the damage of chill attribute skills, making it perfect for Viesa and Haley. And yeah, there's going to be even more updates after season one. They finalized this by saying there's actually more than this coming as well as Nexon has already confirmed that like with preseason, season one will enjoy mid-season content updates and additions. Now new features, quality of life improvements, and fresh content are all expected. One thing we know that will be arriving is a long-awaited trade agent in Albion which will hopefully give us a way to offload our extra valuable research materials. So yes, and no word yet about, of course, what they're doing with the drop rate guarantee thing. I know a lot of you guys are extremely curious if that is going to be forthcoming as well. And yeah, so curious to see how this season one is received. I really do think that this one could go either way. I really hope that the puzzles don't frustrate you guys too much. I have seen where you know, Diablo 4 did introduce some puzzle type weird stuff with their dungeons and people did not like it whatsoever and they had to actually scale that back. So we shall see. It is cool. I will say this, that they are going to be focusing a bit on solo players as well. I think they know they have a community there that they're trying to cater towards. But there's also another concern on top of that, that it is going to be very much a time based type thing. And some people just don't like that. So let me know. If you guys are up for the challenge of running like a time-based type dungeon environment and seeing if you can better your rewards. Uh, but yeah, I'm so curious to see your take on that one. But we got to go over your top comments from my previous video. So let's do this. All right. So the first top comment is this one right here. They need to make that dusting off an emote. Absolutely. I would think that they would. And then it says the jiggle physics when she slapped her ass were peak performance. <laughs> yeah, they really like focused on the details, didn't they? Because they knew what they were doing with this camera angle. It says Ultima Freyna looks so cool. Not only that it looks like we make it a Freyna story to add actually seeing some new mechanics has me so excited. Hell yes. The way they start the trailer, yep, I'm sold. They know their target audience as well. The mountain is just... <laughs> they did a great job with the uh, character design for Haley. I gotta say that but you know it seems like a lot of you guys are really looking forward to uh, the individual descendant storylines as indicated right here looking forward to this the bunny story was a tearjerker some corny lines could be just translation but it was pretty cool story for bunny I like that they will do personal stories for the descendants yeah more story oriented content I personally love that sort of thing and I think they're headed in the right direction. By the way, one thing they nailed about that trailer was the music. Like that trailer got me so freaking hyped for season one. So the marketing is on point. Can they deliver with the mechanics? Can they deliver with the fun factor of this? That's really all that matters. Marketing can only take you so far. We shall see. We'll find out, won't we? But uh, thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned here for more First Ascendant news and updates. I have you guys covered as always. And I will see you all next time. Take care.